Hello guys, this is how to build a basic dining table slash cooking station for an interior or an exterior on your Valheim world. So you can put this absolutely anywhere, it's probably better outside uh, if anything. So let's just start this off straight away by putting two uh, stone slabs like so. I'm going to rim it with a total of six wooden planks all the way around like that. We're then going to put our fireplace and you can put two or three if you really want to but i'm going to put one right in the center with a cooking station right on top of it just like that so uh then we're going to actually put a rug as i tried to make that central uh in the middle like that we're going to put a rug uh you can use whatever sort of rug you'd like whether that's the deer or the locks the wolf pelt i particularly like the um the uh the locks so I want to put it right in the center. So I jump on top of this and I try to put it right in the center like that. And I get that bang on right there. So that's already quite an interesting design. I've not seen too many people do that. So that's why I've like been do uh, like to do lately. I next put the uh, I put four um, small core woods on either side of this dining table like so, like so. And then I also then put the larger uh, core wood uh, logs on either side with uh, two additional smaller core woods uh, to win the rest of the frame for this dining table. Next, I want to add black banners. Now I add black banners to pretty much most of my interior decorating um, hardware almost. Uh, I put it absolutely everywhere. It's almost like a frame or a unique pattern to a frame or maybe even like somewhere to lean like an armrest something like that for this dining table next you want to get some four spot four um of the smaller posts of the wooden posts on each of the uh four core wood posts like so and to make it blend in a little better we're going to put these item frames uh four around one post and that's just to cover up the the kind of uh the the, the part where the joins don't quite fit together with the regular wooden plank uh the wooden uh the wooden log the wooden frame and the the core wood itself just to make it look a bit tidier and almost as i said like a joint kind of area whereas you know you'd put nails or something like that as i said just makes it look a lot tidier and uh, you know it's another reason to use these item frames they're quite useful in valheim and they can hide a lot of ugly areas on any builds really as well as the stein and teal so after i've put them on i'm actually going to put the item frames on the top of the posts which is where we're going to put some shields now you can use any type of shield you like pretty sure i use the iron branded shield i'm not too i'm not exactly quite sure i can't remember but obviously that's quite resource uh, heavy so you could just use a regular wooden shield or anything you like really it depends if you're doing this in the debug mode or if you're doing this in survival i'm doing it in debug mode so it doesn't really matter what resource i use anyway just makes it look a little bit nicer um, I think it looks a bit more aesthetically pleasing and uh, it suits the build. As, you know, small parts of iron, small parts of metal in a build can really kind of accentuate some of the features on the build. So after I've done that, I'm going to put four more small wooden posts on top of the shields, which is going to act as, the, well, in part with the roof. And I'm going to put some uh, wooden planks going across just like this, just to connect all the way around. And what I'm going to do here basically is build a small roof and I'm going to allow like a little uh, a little vent or a few little vents so the smoke can just billow outwards uh, if you're doing this outside obviously the roof's kind of important if you're doing it inside you don't need the roof per se but i'd still probably add it especially if you're building like a second floor um obviously you need the uh, gaps for the smoke to billow outwards so you've pretty much done the build from this point onwards i just add some crisscrosses like that i'd only do that outside it looks a lot better outside if you do that and there you've basically got it you've you've got your whole finished build you can add some accessories some cake tins whatever anything you want but that's it guys i hope you enjoyed this video and let me know if you include this in your world